1994 Mercedes W124 Estate, 300 dig this one. It's the three litre diesel. Automatic in red, seven seat car as well. Bonnet width wise, I'm gonna start off with the bonnet width all way around onto the interior. Here to be sold out reserve as well, this one. Let's say across the bonnet, you'll see it has got some faded bits, a few bird poo marks here and there, wants a good polish in places. As we come down onto the bumper there, some stone chips, you'll have a little mark here and there, but a few stone chips across the front end. As we go around onto that right hand side, you'll see a little scuff there, a little bit of a crack in the light. You've got the vented wing, which was standard on those. We've had a touch in at the front of that wing there. Top off seems to be quite flat on the paint side of things, it does want a good polish. Got some lat appeal to the wing mirror, some lat appeal up the pillars. Across the roof again, with it being red, fairly common that you suffer from lack of peel, which you can't see that there. As we come down the driver's door, no dings or dents, all nice and straight, but again, top half is flat as we work our way backwards. All straight across the lower half, again, flat on the paint side of things. The roof's going to want some paint and some lacquer. As we come down the rear quarter again, we've got some pinkness to the paint, some lack of peel on the corner there, and again, it's faded across that rear quarter. There is a scratch down there and there, and again on the bumper. Bumper on the rear once painting, it's always been painted before, it's the wrong shade of red. Uh, and again, some lack appeal to that. And across the boot there, you can see we've got a pinky haze to, to the paint there. And again, some plenty of lack appeal across there, with some corrosion across the top of the handle there, and around the lock. Coming round and down that left-hand side, again, some lack appeal to the quarter. Camera's picking that up quite well. And onto the door, across the top of the pillar, some lacquer peel there. No dings or dents or major marks down this left-hand side. There's a few scratches here and there, but the lacquer peel is sort of the worst part of it, which you can clearly see there as we come up the passenger front door. Again, some lacquer peel starting at the top. Body kits, all the moulding seem to fit nice and tightly, though, against the body. But again, some lacquer peel to the wing mirror cap. As you come up that front wing, we have got a dent there on the front wing with two scratches on the left-hand side. Another one further along, and again, some heavy scratching there. On the wing, so it's going to want a bit of love around the uh, around the body there. Interior black cloth on this one. Door card's nice and tidy, no rips or tears. The seat itself's in good order, really nice and tidy on the seat, no rips, no tears to that there. Steering wheel's nice and tidy, dashboard's good. And as you come down the centre console, again, there's a few screws there and some bits and bobs, but all okay there. We have got a spare stalk because the wipers aren't working, but look at that for two hundred and twenty thousand miles. Really good that seat, it's only Mercedes can do this sort of thing. Into this left hand side of the yard, just pop that door open. Handle didn't want to work there, and again. Handle doesn't want to seat the release from the outside. Same on both sides, James says on the rear. Door card again, it's all okay. Rear bench seat seems to be nice and straight across there. We have got some wear to the back of the armrest. There's a bench seat, no rip splits or tears across there. No cigarette burns or nastiness. And then into the boot, you will find the third row of seats there. Seven seat model with the parcel shelf and the dog guard still intact. As we come round onto that left hand side rear, again the door card's all okay. Rear bench seat, no rip splits or tears either. Onto the left hand side front door card again, nice and tidy on the door card. The seat itself shows no real wear at all, no nasty stains, no rips, tips, tears, cigarette burns, or anything like that. So there's a spare stoke. Uh, See so the wipers aren't working. The indicators are working, but the wipers aren't. Into the engine bay now. It's that three litre diesel engine there. James is going to fire it up in the knife for us. <laughs> Revolutions to just fire up there. And there you have it, the M Reg Mercedes W124 7 seat there, 300D that one.